Okay, in this video we are going to finish up with the assembly. So what we're going to do is take our three sub-assemblies, the front, the middle, and the back, to create our final assembly with uh, two connectors as well. So we're going to bring in two of those. So go ahead and start a new assembly. Create, file, save as. We'll just call this T9. Oops. T9 final assembly. I'll we'll just call it T9 assembly. That's fine. Because it's everything. T9 assembly. And then I'm going to place. And I'm going to bring in the passenger section first. I'm going to left click that, hit escape. I'm going to right click it and ground it. Then I'm going to place in the front. Place in the bed assembly. Sub assembly I should say. And two connectors. Put one of those right there and one right there. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is constrain this connector to this passenger section. So I'm going to do that with pretty much all mate constraints. So I'm going to go constrain. I'm going to use this inside cutout and constrain that to this kind of male receiving end here. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a mate constraint. Let's do with the inside face back there of that cutout with this face right here hit apply and then I'm going to close this I always like to like close and move it back out so I can get the faces a little bit easier go back into constrain let's do this left face sorry right face to this side right here hit apply close that again move this so if you notice I can only move it up and down so I'm going to constrain this upper face right there to the top face of this. Hit apply and now if I try and click and move that, that thing is fully constrained. So if you think about it, we're, we're really just trying to constrain it on three different axes. Your X, your Y, and your Z. That's all we just did. Alright, so now I can constrain the front end to this connector. So I'm going to go constrain, and I'm going to use this face right here of that two block, and go inside to this back face back there. Hit apply. Or no, you know what? I'm going to cancel that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to make this easy. And that's a little bit difficult. So I canceled that. Let's constrain. Let's just do this face. Let's make this easy to this face. There we go. And then let's do this top. Uh, can we do the edge? Yeah, you want to grab the edge. Now this is important. Grab the edge here. There it is. And I'm going to constrain it to this edge. But I want to switch that to aligned. And then hit apply. And then if I close this and try and move this, you notice it only moves left to right there. So I got to do this face to this face. So constrain. I'm going to go this face to this face. But I want to do a flush and hit apply. Close that. So the front end is now fully constrained onto the middle passenger section. All right, so let's constrain the connector here to the middle section. So I'm going to go to constrain. I'm going to grab this inside face right there, that back face of that cutout. And I'm going to constrain that to this face right here. Hit apply. Close that. I'm going to move this out again. I'm going to orbit around, shift in the mouse wheel. And then how about let's do constrain. I'm going to do this face to this face. Hit apply. 
move it out again. Notice it's only moving up and down. So we got one more to go, one more constraint. I'm going to do this one. To that one. Hit apply. Close that out. So now if I try and move that, it's locked down. So the last thing I'm going to do is constrain the bed to the passenger section. So I'm going to go constrain. Let's do this face to this face. Hit apply. Let's do the top face of the bed to the top face of the passenger section. But you want that to be flush, so I'm going to change that to flush here. Hit apply. And then if I close this and I try and move it, you'll notice it's only moving left to right. So I'm going to do this face to this face. So constrain this face to this face, but we want to flush. Hit apply, close that, hit the home button, and now you have your fully constrained Automoblox assembly. Go ahead and hit save. Don't forget you should be screen clipping each assembly along the way, so this one you can screen clip in here. And then you are done with your final assembly for the T9.